All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is power regression, which is a little bit different from exponential, has a little bit dynamic, a little bit different twist with respect to finding uh, the regression equation. So let's talk about Emma Lee for a second. She is a dynamic swimmer who has emerged as one of the top national athletes in the 50 meter freestyle. Her lower times, and remember lower times means a better time, okay, can be attributed to a healthy diet where she eats acai bowls. I know I pronounced that correct because I just Googled it 30 seconds ago. And I was like, I want to pronounce this right. Acai bowls. There is a strong and negative relationship between the number of ounces of acai eaten per day of the race and her respective 50 meter freestyle time. The first graph, which you'll see actually on the next page, um, represented below, um, is her 50 meter time versus the ounces of acai eaten. And the second two graphs represent the natural log of the times versus the natural log of ounces okay, of the society that she's eaten and the residual versus the natural log of the ounces. And what may look a little different is that you'll notice that you're taking the log of not only the Y's, which are your outputs, okay, but also of your X's. All right. And that's the uniqueness between a power model versus an exponential model. So if these are items in your L1 and your L2, which is the ounces of Messiah, which is again, a, um, it's a fruit, okay? It's uh, one that's supposed to have um, energy boosting um, natural uh, ingredients that will, um, again, uh, help your body produce and recover quickly in athletic terms, okay? Um, this is your L2. And your L3 is no longer your log or your natural log of Y's. It's going to be the log or the natural log of X's. And I know it's the natural log because they introduced that here in the directions. And they also have it in your computer tab, okay, your um, fitting tab report. And that means your L4 would be your natural log of your Y's, okay? So here you do natural log of L1, natural log of L2. You get your lists. And that's where you create your least squared regression line, okay? Which we'll do on the next page. Okay, so um, whatever's in your L3 and your L4, remember this is the natural log of the X's, this is your natural log of the Y's, it's really low here. And what you'll do is you'll do TI84, lin reg, A plus BX, okay? And you'll have to input L3 for your uh, input values, uh, L4 for your output values, and again, Storm and Y1, okay? Now, what is that gonna do your equation? Well, it'll give you the natural log, and put this on the right, just like before, okay, the natural log of your Y hats is equal to your A, and remember, this is your A right here in your chart. These are the only two things we really care about right now, which is 3.7678, okay? plus b, which is negative 0.181, and it's not x, it is the natural log of x. Okay, so, and make sure you define your variables, x is equal to ounces. Got my n, a, u, n, c, there we go. Of, I haven't said in a while, so I don't wanna say it again. Um, this fruit. And your Y hat is, of course, your time. 10 seconds. Okay, and there you go. All right, so um, how is that useful to us? Well, first, let's take a look at your picture here. You can see that we have some type of curve here. Okay, and just because it goes down doesn't mean it's power. Okay, exponentials can also go down. But if you look at this, yeah, there's some type of slope to this that looks like it curves, okay? In fact, it flattens out a little bit more towards the end. It's, there is some bend to this, all right? When you do a least squared regression for your L3 and your L4, okay, which means you're linearizing your L1 and your L2, um, you get something that looks like this. There's your least squared regression line, and it passes through um, those points accordingly, okay? And that wasn't a great picture because um, when you draw your residual, you can see the right, it actually, as you read it from left to right, it has this zigzag figure. And again, what does that mean? Well, if it zigzags, okay, that means your linear model was appropriate. Okay, and notice how complete I'll be with this. Linear model is appropriate 
for that natural log of your times, okay, versus your natural log of your ounces. Okay, and what does that mean? That means your power was good. Power model is good for your original data. Okay. So again, they're gonna give you a lot of the work ahead of time. They're not always gonna have you plug things into L1 and L2 and then do your L3 and L4. That, that takes a little bit of time and then to linearize your, your work to come up with a least squared regression line, which is this, um, can be done a lot more quickly as you uh, just read these outputs. Okay, so you don't have to do all this work in your list if they give you this nice computerized output. Okay. All right, I don't know if I'll remember this. Hopefully I will. Let's go to the next screen. Ah, it's already there. Okay, so why would a power model be reasonable to describe the relationship between 50 meter times and ounces of acai bowls um, eaten per day? And I'm gonna go what I said before, the residual model. Okay, for uh, the natural log of ounces. Okay, and the residual, of course. Okay, is a zigzag. Okay, which means there's no smooth curve. Okay, there's no like neat um, curve that kind of flows through all of it. Zigzag pattern, uh, which means Okay, and I'll write it the way they typically write it, like it. The natural log of the output, which is the time, versus uh, the natural log of the ounces is linear. Okay. Okay, and what of course does that mean? The linear model is appropriate for that data. Well, it means that the original uh, data um, produces a relationship um, that follows a power model. Okay, so same type of stuff. We always start from the back and we work our way to the front, okay? And notice that every single part is addressed. Okay. All right, use the graphs are provided uh, to find the equation of the least squared regression line we, and, and define your variables. No sweat, we've already done that, but we'll do it again, the natural log of y hat. And again, we know it's natural logs because all of these are natural logs, okay? Again, I know it's power because if your x's ever have logs in it, Okay, if your horizontal representations ever have logs in it or natural logs, you know it's a power. Okay, if it didn't have logs there, that would match the exponential, which is what we did in the previous part. Okay, so 3.7678 plus negative 0.181x, and that's not x, that's the natural log of x. And again, x is equal to ounces. And y hat is equal to time, 10 seconds. And there you go. You can leave it just like that. Don't forget your natural log in there. And that's fine. You don't have to do anything else, okay? All right, so last and final question. It says the world record for the women's 50 meter freestyle was set in 2009 by Greta Stefan from Germany, I believe or at least was in Germany, with a time of 23.73 seconds. Emily hopes to break this record at the next Summer Olympics. Okay. If she eats 30 ounces of acai bowls the morning of the Olympic finals, how would you predict that she will do? Okay. So here's what I got. I've got the natural log of y hat equals 3.76. Seven eight plus negative point one eight one. Don't forget the natural log. Natural log of your x, which is in this case thirty. Remember the number of ounces of um, this fruit that she eats should predict her time. Okay. 
okay? 30, not just 30, the natural log of 30 goes in for x, okay? So I will put this in my calculator. You should do that too. Um, sometimes this will be stored in your y1 because you'll do all that math for it. And that's of course great if you have that, makes things go a little bit more quickly. 0 0.181 times the natural log of 30. And that will give you 3.15 about. So I'm just, I'm not gonna write the whole thing. I'm gonna leave it in my calculator, but I'm not gonna. Now, that would mean 3.15 seconds, and that would be way too fast. So something's up. And that's because I didn't solve for y, I solved for the natural log of y. Okay, so don't forget, we didn't solve for the full y yet. We have that natural log. So how do you get rid of a natural log? Keep in mind that natural log is an operation. Okay, so you don't say, Maybe let's divide both sides by natural log. To get rid of the natural log, you have to um, use exponents, okay? So you'll use e as a base, take it to the natural log of y hat, and do e to the 3.15. Now, if you're using a TID4 or something like that, and it's in your calculator, you just say e to this answer, and it gives you something a little bit more exact. So e to the previous answer is 23.38. Okay, and this is just a prediction. And what's gonna happen? Well, 23.3, that's actually lower than this. And what we'll say is she will break a record. That would be cool. Okay. Now, will she win the gold? Hopefully, because if you break the world record, hopefully no one else did also, and you'll win the gold. But that isn't for sure, but I bet she does, okay? All right, so here's the deal. I didn't do the entire problem in the sense that I found your L3 for you and I found your L4 for you. But again, if you do the lid reg parts and just do an L3 and L4 as we talked about, kind of right down here, it's the same type of work. It's just one additional list, okay? And then um, you may have to do a residual plot for it, um, but, and that may take you out, bump you out another row. Um, another list, but in the end, it's all the same stuff, okay? All right, if you have some questions, you'll let me know. And again, did I lose that sh thing? Here, I'm going back to the assignment. This here is your power, okay? So do that part second. This is exponential, okay? So watch the exponential videos. Hopefully, you already did that. Hopefully, you did these problems before you started this video. I told you that in the other ones. Hopefully, you followed along. But um, these six seven relate to power okay so and for some all you have to do is do the inputs at the end i'll tell you the ones in the beginning i give you the equation okay i give you this okay and i'll say hey input the 30 input the natural log of 30 and work it out and then finish it that's all you have to do is they give you the equation ask you to finish it in time they have you do more of the big process okay all right good luck on that if you have some questions you holler at me let me know and i will get back to you have a good day